and hello everyone welcome to this video of ASP.NET Core so in the last video we actually de debugged how to make the update uh, the update button work so if I want to update item number 9 on this list I can just click update button and it will work right here okay then turn it on and uh, it will update as well you can see however uh, as you know uh, this this uh, this table looks pretty uh, not too good. Okay, so uh, how are we going to uh, how are we going to make it look better? So I want to introduce you uh, to the idea of Bootstrap and you know styling your your uh, table at least and styling the website to make it look a bit better. I'm not going to be an expert on this, of course. I just want to make it look legible. Okay. And then before going to other more interesting stuff okay so part of me have a little bit of a runny nose it's a uh, spring season I think pollens everywhere so yeah that is the deal anyway so here's a bootstrap 5 crash course I have something I found very useful uh, and I learned a lot of tips from here and these are uh, getting started introduction websites which I will use so without further ado let's begin okay so uh step hold on yeah just checking some files here anyway okay so uh question is how do you style your pages and where are all these files located all right so if you look in your data storage cshtml if you look at the cshtml page this is where you usually have your uh html code okay but you will notice that uh, uh none of these uh none of these uh, data here actually contain any kind of styling things all this HTML code is actually uh, well it's part of the page but you don't really see the navigation and everything else here where you will see it though is under the shared folder so you see the shared folder right here uh, under the the pages page in the razor pages okay you go to layout.cshtml over here you will be able to see a lot of things okay HTML head and you see the header you see a lot of the body and of course the the menu items which uh, we we seen how to do before okay where the main uh, body of code which your uh, which all this will be displayed is under this part called render body okay render body so if you actually uh, type render body twice okay I don't know if you can do that if you type render body uh, render body twice you you will see a duplicate of tables and everything like that okay so uh, let's see what happens if we render body twice okay test page okay looks like it doesn't really do anything huh okay okay but maybe maybe the thing is that I can comment this out Okay, open a line and to comment the HTML out it's like that use using the arrow keys okay it's a it's a left arrow but you put an exclamation mark here and to end it you put a right arrow like that dash dash and right arrow you can see that all this has disappeared okay and that's how you actually can comment outlines of HTML okay so this is where most of your code will be the render the place where you render body and where is the so-called uh, stuff uh, related to bootstrap and how your uh, how your uh, things are styled okay in the uh, razor pages your bootstrap will be here okay you can see that the uh, link rel uh, link rel equals to style sheet href equals to the home page like bootstrap uh, css bootstrap main.css all of these files here okay so this is where your bootstrap is and what is bootstrap about okay bootstrap is about uh, uh, helping you helping to give you a preset uh, a preset uh, collection of CSS okay content uh, cascading style sheets CSS okay normally if you want to make your websites look nice you have to uh, save those settings inside CSS files however however bootstrap has for you uh, a preset list of CSS stuff 
so that you can use it to configure your tables and everything without needing to uh, without needing to you know code your CSS yourself this is something I definitely don't want to do I'm more interested in uh, getting calculations done rather than making the website look nice so if I can use presets I will okay not only that you will also have uh, some JavaScript here as well a lot of your JavaScript sources are over here so this is a pretty uh, good place to start looking at bootstrap okay so uh, well most of your page will be rendered here but all the stylistic stylistic items will be usually inside your layout layout.cshtml okay so i will do the same trick again i want to show you what the effect of these three lines are by commenting them out okay so i will comment out these lines in html and if i reload this page okay i will of course reload the page you will see that the page suddenly becomes very ugly okay See, the page has become very ugly. Uh, there's not much, not much to in the way of uh, page design here. Suddenly, all your, your nice looking fonts and everything are gone. Why? Because all of these data, all of these nice looking fonts are within these style sheets right here. Okay. So, actually, your Razor Pages already has its own, uh, its own uh, pre-installed Bootstrap. Okay, but let me show you in case in case you're wondering how to start off from scratch or you want to load a custom bootstrap from a certain site uh, how do you start I'll only give you the basics of course yeah how do you start okay for, so first usually your bootstrap will uh, will have to do with these two lines of code these few lines of code uh, where we have the style sheets and everything as well as the scripts here which uh, deal with the bootstrap of the JavaScript. So you can see this, this thing is actually looking really ugly. Okay, so if you don't have bootstrap, uh, the first thing you can do is, well, uh, how do you, how do you put, uh, put it into your, your page? Okay, this is the, how you do it getting started. Uh, first, first way you can do is to use the CDN or Content Delivery Network. Okay, so go to Get Bootstrap. Okay, this is the latest version, I believe, uh, version 5 of Bootstrap as of April 12th. It looks like it. It looks like the latest, or at least that's the, la that's the latest one I found. Okay, so you're supposed to copy and paste this link. This link, uh, this link right here. Copy this whole link into the head section. So where's the head section? The head section is over here. You see this head section, and this is the closing part of the head section. So put the, put the, Put this link right there copy to clipboard and paste it here and then paste okay so this will actually help you load up your bootstraps okay it will it will uh, ask the uh, it will basically instead of getting your bootstraps locally you'll get it from an online website so this is what this uh, CSS code will do of course for the JavaScript part uh, you can also copy and paste and that will that will uh, it says place one of the following scripts near the end of your pages right before the closing of the body tag so look at where the body tag is here's your body tag immediately after the head go all the way down and you can see this is where your body tag is you will usually put your JavaScript uh, bootstrap right here okay so if I save and close and you look at the you look at the .NET test page you see that things actually look pretty nice now okay so uh, this is this is uh, just messing around with the bootstrap file. Of course, you can uh, you can actually just uh, delete all of this. You don't really need this because uh, the CSS uh, bootstraps have already been included with the the .dot net uh, razor page when you started it. Okay, so this is just a demonstration of how to use the bootstrap content delivery network or CDN. Okay. But as you can see here, your bootstrap files are actually located locally within your folder. If you see this squiggly line here, this is referring to your home directory. Okay, so you can see that all your bootstrap files, all your CSS files will be under library bootstrap, this CSS bootstrap min.css. So where is all these things? Where are all these things? So if you go to uh, www root, this will be your home directory somewhere like your home directory go to library and go to bootstrap okay okay and then you uh, cd to dist go to css 
and you LS everything, you see that all your bootstrap is right here. So, again, let me remind you where it is. Okay, go to www root. This is your home directory. Go to www root. Go to uh, a library. Okay, in library you will have bootstrap, jQuery, jQuery validation, and other jQuery stuff. Okay, bootstrap is right here. Go to distribution and list the CSS part. You will see all the all the uh, necessary bootstrap files are already pre-installed for you. So if you want uh, to uh, unload your new, if you want to download and extract your bootstrap files, you can extract it here. Okay. If you want to edit them, if you want to edit them, you can also cd css and vim bootstrap.css. Yeah, you can open it up here. You can edit all the bootstrap files that you want. And this is where you will actually uh, uh, configure what uh, each of these uh, things look like. So, so uh, what I've shown you is how Bootstrap is already being used inside your Razor pages. Okay, how Bootstrap is already being used inside your Razor pages. And second thing is that how is uh, Bootstrap being uh, applied? Okay, usually we apply them within the pages, and then you go to share, and you'll see that under layout, CSHTML your bootstrap files over here will be used okay so that's how bootstrap is usually configured okay so you can just follow for kind of uh, follow what's going on here so remember your boot your layout page will be here and within the shared folder the layout page will show you uh, which bootstrap files are being used for both the css and the javascript part and uh all of your all of your bootstrap files by default when you make a razor page in asp.net core 6 uh, they will be inside the www root folder under library okay so that's uh, about bootstrap setup now the the question is how do how do we then now that we know bootstraps already set up how do we make this table look nice okay uh, thankfully it's pretty simple what you need to do okay this is a uh, getbootstrap.com you can look at the the content and the tables right here okay so uh yeah bootstraps tables are opt-in and you can take a look at the syntax of the code here basically uh you can use the the class equals to table in order to give the table nice formatting so if you go to uh, data storage.cshtml and yeah open the tree on the left right here okay we go to the table part okay you go to the table part and we can see this is rather basic right this is rather basic so uh we can uh, open this up on the table open this up and then we'll give it a class okay class equals to table so every time you see this class keyword right here this class keyword right here class the the class keyword actually allows you to access a bootstrap class and that will contain all the the preset designs that are available Okay, the, they will contain all the preset designs that are available. Uh, okay, so let's save this and you will see instantly our table looks a lot nicer. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to try this live. I'll just, uh, uh, okay, maybe I'll just show you where this class is located. So yeah, let's take a look. Where is the... Okay, never mind. Let's wait. Okay, I'll probably talk about this next time. Alright, so... Uh, well, we know that uh, putting this class keyword in... I'll just, I'll just say how to use it. Putting this class keyword in actually allows us to uh, change the, the style of our uh, uh, table. Of course, these classes must be declared. For example, the class table must exist. On then and only then you will have it nicely styled like that okay of course uh, uh, tables they don't just have uh, this uh, class you can actually uh, you can do a lot of other uh, table classes as well so for, for example if you want a strike table you can use the table strike class and you just put it in right here 
So uh, if I put the class equals to table, okay, and then I want to include the, the table stripe, as you can see here, I'm actually putting in two classes and they're separated by a space. So if I put table, table, stripe, okay, and if the table stripe uh, class is actually existing, we, we should be able to see stripe. See, the, 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 the table stripe actually works pretty well. Okay, so uh, whenever you see this class keyword here, know that it will actually access a particular CSS or bootstrap class that has all the style, style data already put in. Of course, of course, you can manually configure them or you can actually um, configure them uh, uh, met, uh, like configure them using uh, your own CSS code. It's really up to you, but I just rather deal with the standard because I don't want to uh, uh, talk um, I don't want to uh, do more stylistic things. But you see this this actually makes it look a lot nicer already. Of course you can do the same for all these things here, make it a little bit nicer. Uh, but know that every time you use this class keyword, you're actually accessing existing uh, CSS classes. Some of them provided by Bootstrap, some of them uh, other places. But yeah, all of these uh, are, uh, 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 what do you call that? They're already uh, given for us. So you can see every time you put class, all these class things down here, it is a way for us to style, style the thing. So, okay. So the last one, maybe uh, I'll let, let's see whether we can uh, look at the forms. Okay, we can look at uh, inputs, input group. Okay, if you take if you take a look at this, uh, input type equals to uh, text class equals uh, form control. Alright. Okay. Uh, okay, so uh, if you want the inputs over here to be looking a bit nicer, we can actually put a class here equals to what form control okay okay you look at that and you look this is a much nicer much nicer looking thing okay instead of just this plain empty box right here this looks a lot better okay so we, we can play around with the uh, CSS uh, you can see that the 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 uh, thing actually looks uh, pretty yeah, pretty uh pretty good. We can do text wrapping and all, all that stuff. All these nice things to actually format our uh format our uh, thing. Yeah, so uh I'm not gonna continue too much here. Actually I'm gonna delete this form control thing just because I want to show you, you know, that we can uh anytime we put this class into our HTML code, this will enable us to access CSS code and for example the CSS code that's already inside Bootstrap. Okay. Now, uh, okay. So uh, I'll stop the video for now. I'll leave a lot of these links in the description. Uh, hope this uh, uh, lets you see that how we can actually uh, use Bootstrap and of course CSS because CSS is behind Bootstrap. We can use that to make our tables look a little bit more legible. Okay. Uh, so thanks for watching. I see you again. See you again. Bye bye.